Hi, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel. Good news for horror fans. Tonight I'm going to be a ghost hunter and go hunt down the ghosts that haunt the old inn. I'm sponsored by this awesome horror game company, Hunt a Killer, so I can make good animations for you guys. As you all know, I'm a horror fanatic, but there aren't many interesting horror contents in the world. So, I'm a fan of this game, Ghastly Manor. Hunt a Killer has several types of immersive murder mystery games. Each game puts you at the center of the crime to solve, and is full of all sorts of puzzles and ciphers. Time will fly by as you escape into the realistic plot that twists and turns with loads of deviant characters. You can have a thrilling game night with friends, a date, or alone. Hunt a Killer offers subscription box seasons, or you can also try one of the many all-in-one games. There's a spoiler-free online community of over 100,000 members if players get stuck or just want to chat about true crime. Wish me good luck to catch five ghosts today. You too. Go to the link in my comment and description and get a discount and play the game. This is a true story of mine, which I still get chills when I think of it. It was the winter in 1989. I was 15 back then. So winters in our state are very cold and even snowfall happens here. So my friend John had invited me over to a party at his house that night. I didn't want to go, but all of our friends would be there, so I decided to go. It was so cold that I wore a sweater and two overcoats. I set out for his house, which was around a mile from mine. So on the way, I saw a girl. She would have been around the same age as me. She was very attractive and was wearing a little old-fashioned clothes long hair up to her waist, lavender pink dress, but they were indeed so beautiful. I went up to her and asked, hey, what are you doing alone on such a cold night? She asked me, are you going to the party? I replied, yes, and by looking at you, it seems that you're going there too. She said yes, and then we started walking together towards my friend's house. I haven't seen her before, but again, I only just came here a year ago, so it could be that I just never came across her before. I asked her, what's your name? And she told me, it's Julie. There were quite a lot of people at the party, so in the party, everyone seems not to know her. They thought she was my friend. I did not deny it. She had a very charming personality, and she was with one group a moment, and then the other group the next moment. Everyone liked her, but when the food and drinks were served, I noticed that she didn't eat or drink anything. As for me, I ate heartily and drank a couple of sips too. So it was time for me to go home as it was midnight. Julie also came with me and on the way back, it was very cold and Julie didn't have much protection against the cold, so I gave her one of my two overcoats. We walked a few more steps and then I asked her, I'll drop you off, where do you live? She told me, there's a shortcut up ahead through the alleyway. I live just up there ahead in Wolfsburn. I will go there, but thanks for insisting to help. I told her, I had a great time with you. You can return the overcoat whenever you want. She came ahead and kissed me on my cheeks, and then we waved our goodbyes and went our own way. The next day, I was in awe of Julie, so I decided to meet her. I went up to that alley where she told me she lived ahead of there. When I went through, there was a house which was empty. No one lived there. It seemed like it was empty for years. Had Julie played a joke? I went up ahead and there lived the Taylor family. I went to their house and asked, does someone named Julie live anywhere near? I met her at the party yesterday and she told me she lived just ahead of the alley. When I went there, it was an old abandoned house. Mrs. Taylor told me, I don't think any Julie lives here anywhere. And about that abandoned house, it's called Wolfsburn House. The McKinnon family used to live there 40 years ago. They moved out when their only daughter had died. She stopped and gave me a queer look and continued. I think her name was Ju Julie. She had died of an accident. I think her grave is just up ahead in the cemetery. I got chills when I heard that. I thanked Mrs. Taylor and went on towards the cemetery. There were a lot of graves, but it didn't take me long to find Julie's and it was carved Julie McKinnon, 1933 to 1949. With us one moment, taken the next. Gone to her creator, gone to her rest. And there behind the grave, 
neatly folded was my overcoat in the grass. To this date, I still remember her, her beauty, her charming personality. I will never forget her. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel to get our latest exclusive videos. Plus, hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.